everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to make these delicious fried shrimp tacos. So, let's get started with the video. Begin by prepping your ingredients. Dice one onion. One jalapeno. And one tomato. Then chop some red cabbage. And some cilantro. Next, cut 10 tomatillos in half. Make sure to remove the leaves and stem and rinse it clean of any dirt. When you're finished, toss them in a bowl with olive oil. Then place them on a preheated baking sheet flesh side down. When you're finished, place the baking sheet into the oven on broil for 10 to 15 minutes or until the skin is blistering or has browned. Once your tomatillos have finished cooking, place them inside a blender. Then add half a diced onion, half a diced jalapeno pepper, 1 4th cup cilantro, the juice of 1 lime, one fourth teaspoon salt, and 1 4th teaspoon pepper. Then blend until your ingredients are finely minced and your salsa is slightly chunky. Also, I might have overblended mine because it wasn't like chunky chunky. It still tasted really good, it just wasn't like that chunky consistency, you know what I mean? Also, the next time I make this, I'm gonna add some garlic. When you finish making your salsa, place it inside a container and set it to the side. Next, add your diced tomatoes in a bowl, and then add a half a cup of diced onions, half of a diced jalapeno, the juice of one lime, half a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of cilantro. Mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your pico de gallo in a container and set it to the side. Next, we'll be making some chipotle mayo. In a bowl, add half a cup of mayonnaise, one teaspoon minced garlic, 2 teaspoons of lime juice, 1 eighth teaspoon salt, 1 fourth teaspoon chipotle powder, 1 fourth teaspoon chili powder, and 1 teaspoon smoked paprika. Then mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your chipotle mayo to the side. 
Next, peel and devein some shrimp. How many shrimp you use depends on the amount of tacos you're going to make. I used 11. When you're finished, you can go ahead and season your shrimp. I seasoned my shrimp with pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, Old Bay, and paprika. Next, in a dish, add one cup of flour. Then add your seasonings. I added pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, and a bit of paprika. Mix everything together until well combined. Then add one cup of buttermilk and one egg in a bowl. Mix the two together until well combined. Before you start adding your shrimp, heat up oil in a pot or deep fryer. If you're using a pot, heat it up over medium heat, and if you're using a deep fryer, heat it up to 350 to 375 degrees. Next, coat your shrimp in flour. Then in your buttermilk mixture, Then again in your flour. Repeat this process with all of your shrimp. By this time your oil should be ready so you can begin frying your shrimp. Fry your shrimp for about 2-3 to three minutes or until crispy and golden brown. When you finish frying your shrimp, place them on a paper towel covered plate or a wire rack. Now that everything has been prepared, we can begin assembling our tacos. And this is the finished result! These tacos were great and pretty easy to make. Everything tasted great, the shrimp was well seasoned, and I especially like the salsa verde. I usually don't like red cabbage, but it tasted really good with the tacos. By the way, if you don't want to fry your shrimp, you can always just saute them instead. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!